Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share with you what courses you should avoid studying in the UK as an international student, both for undergraduate and postgraduate students. You need to ensure that when you're applying to study in the UK, you avoid some of the courses I will be mentioning in this video. So if you think this will interest you, don't go anywhere, keep watching till the end. If you're coming across my YouTube channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Daniel. I currently reside in the UK and I share videos around traveling abroad. So if you're looking for a place to get first hand information as regards to location abroad, then trust me guys, you're in the right place. Please click on the red subscribe button below to join the amazing growing family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for the love. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So without further ado, let's get right in to the video. Your choice of course to study in the UK is one of the most important decisions you have to make as regards studying in the UK because the truth is the uh, future of your stay in the UK is dependent on your ability to you know move from being a student to getting a job that is willing to sponsor you to stay back in the UK and I'm going to be listing some of the courses that based on UK statistics has got the lowest employability rate so if you're planning to study some of these courses I'll be listing in this video then you need to have a change of heart, you need to strategize and go for a better course. Now, if you move to the UK on a tier 4 visa, which is also known as the student visa, now for you to be able to stay back in the country, you need to ensure you get a job upon completion of your program to sponsor your visa on a tier 2 visa, which you need to stay on that visa for five years before you can apply for what is known as ILR. Uh, which is uh, your indefinite leave to remain in the UK. However, now the ability to move from your tier 4 to a tier 2 is dependent on the kind of course you study, your ability to be able to get a job upon completion of a program. That's why it's very important before you choose to study a course, you need to put some certain things into consideration. Now, so before you decide to click on that particular course to study, both for undergraduate or um, postgraduate studies, you need to put some things into um, consideration before you do that. Now the first thing is, do you have interest in the subject area? Now so many international students come into the UK to study just any course and along the line they struggle. Some of them find it very difficult to even complete their studies in the UK. I've come across lots of people who are finding it difficult to meet up with their assessment uh, deadlines, you know, to sorting out their dissertation and many of those thoughts. And this is because some of them end up studying courses that they have no or zero interest in. Now, for someone like me, I've got a first degree in biochemistry and at the moment, I'm studying a master's in business administration in the United Kingdom. There's no correlation, honestly. And I would have struggled at the beginning. And one thing about the UK is, regardless of your um, first degree, the most of the courses they end up, if you're able to prove to them that you can cope, they end up giving you those courses. And so many people just transit, you know, people are actually going to tech now and people, you know, just keep applying for tech um, related uh, programs. And most of them are struggling at the moment. Some of them can't even comprehend most of the things that are being taught. So it's very important for you to ensure that you choose a course of study that you have interest in. So when I completed my program, um, undergraduate studies in Nigeria, I ventured into business basically and I attended so many business you know um business workshop back in Nigeria even my last job before I left Nigeria I was in a three month intense business workshop so uh, I basically trans uh, you know moved from um transition from sciences to business you know before I even came to the UK I already built two online platforms that still generate me income for me as at the time I'm making this video. So uh, it was easy for me to be able to survive and it's evident in my grades at the moment and most of my courses uh, I was able to have you know distinction grades in them because I came to study business which is something I'm so passionate about you get what I mean and since I came to the UK I already increased my stream of income by two already even despite doing a full-time you know studies in the UK so it's very important for you to be able to choose a course of study that you have so much interest in now and that's the second thing you need to put into consideration is that you need to be sure that the course you're coming to study in the UK has got prospects in the job market honestly guys before you come to the UK make sure that you type the um the profession uh you end up you know having in the uk after your course and see if there are jobs for them 
on many of the uk job website like indeed cv library you know and so many other uh, job websites in the uk so you need to ensure that you make a research and be sure that the job uh, the course you're studying has got a uh, prospect for you in the job market you don't want to study a course and end up discovering that there are actually no jobs for this course in the uk so that's very very much important so make sure you do your research don't just choose a course because your agent told you to choose a course. I, I've met so many people who just came into the UK telling me, oh, I, I, I'm studying this particular course. I had no idea. My agent just told me that it's one of the, you know, um, good courses you can study in the UK. And I just jumped. I just wanted to leave my country and all of those stuff. And these guys are struggling big time. You know, there's some things you can't even tell people. You can't share with people. You just keep it to yourself and all of those stuff. So people are struggling. Make sure the course you're studying has got like a prospect after completion of that program now another thing you need to know, ensure is that you need to make research to confirm if you need additional skills to back your degree before you can la land a job in the uk now this is the way it works if you're studying a particular course in the uk it's very important for you to check out the requirements or the you know criteria they're looking at for candidates and some of the skills they expect you to have now for someone like me now i'm planning on moving into um the business uh, analyst role after the completion of my program and you know i already know some of the courses i needed because the truth is there are thousands of other international students studying the same course you studied across various universities in the united kingdom so the question now is what is going to give you leverage what's going to give you like edge you know um over those other candidates applying for the same role so if you need any skill that you can actually start taking up while you're still in school or probably at the end of your program you need to have those you know thoughts and those ideas in mind before choosing to study that course and if those skills are available to you know learn in the united kingdom so that's some of those things you need to put into consideration before deciding to study any course in the uk now some of the degrees and courses you shouldn't study in the united kingdom and this list is based on the uh, statistics for, uh, in the uk based on their employability rate upon completion of your program so some of these courses you should definitely avoid them now the first course i'll be mentioning in this video is languages linguistic and classics the employability rate for this course in the uk is 79.8 percent like it's 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 a no go area you should, you should just ensure that you try as much as possible to avoid studying this kind of course in the uk if not you might end up not getting a job upon completion of your studies now that course you need to ensure you avoid is philosophy and religious studies now many of the things you'll be learning and okay let me just talk about the employability rate it's 82.4 percent employability rate one year after graduation so it's a course that you find very difficult to, to secure a job upon completion of your program now, another course you need to avoid and you should not study in the uk as an international student is politics guys just avoid studying anything that's with political science in the uk you might end up struggling to get a job upon completion now another course you should avoid studying is communication and media yeah you might be a journalist back in your home country and you're probably looking for a way to you know venture into the same in the uk i would personally advise you because the employment um uh, the employability rates for this course is 83.2 percent honestly try and avoid this course because many of this world or many of this job in this particular field are for people that have got like loads of years of experience so you might, you might struggle struggle getting a job if you study this course and that course you should avoid is humanities and liberal Act. honestly i don't know why people choose to study this particular course trying as much to avoid this and that course you should avoid is um creative art and language honestly <laughs> just avoid this course don't even go to creative art and design rather just avoid this course it's got 83.5 percent employability rate so many of these courses don't have like transferable skills so it's very difficult for you to land a job in the uk with some of this uh, courses and degrees so i hope you find this very resourceful if you do please click on the like button and if you're coming across my channel for the very first time and you haven't joined the family trust me you don't want to miss this opportunity click on the red subscribe button to join my amazing growing family and for my eternal subscribers you guys know i don't take your love for granted thank you for being here i really do appreciate you so this will be the end of this video and i will definitely see you guys in the next video thank you